In this little video tutorial, let's have a look at the sketch facilities in Cubify Design 2014. Uh, when we boot up, we find ourselves presented with this little diagram, which is the plane we're going to be drawing on. Make sure that you have XY up here in this corner. If you see YX in this corner, it means the plane is backwards. You're looking at the back of the plane. You can still draw on it, but the angle dimensions may come out rather strange. So just make sure you've got XY here on the, on the top right hand corner. So we need to activate the 2D sketch mode up here click on that activate 2d sketch mode nothing seems to happen but that's because we do not have the plane we're going to draw on activated <clears throat> click on the border and we see a grid come up which is because we are over here we have the grid toggled on toggle it off and the grid disappears back on there we go uh, we've got this one presently off snap the grid we'll leave that off this one we can change the grid settings we can toggle on off the degree of freedom colors we'll just leave leave them all at the default we have degree of freedom call out we have toggled on we'll leave that uh, real real time toggle real time dimensioning with real time dimensioning enabled distance and angle dimensions can be applied while drawing sketch figures press tab to cycle between the length and angle dimensions we'll leave that toggled on sketch dimensions we'll leave that off constraint symbols we'll leave that off and also guidelines we'll leave that off so we shall start with the line sketch figure click and drag we have the length highlighted in blue we can round that to 75 type 75 press the tab key it becomes pale blue which indicates that it has been accepted and the angle is now highlighted we can change that to say 15 and enter and we're ready to draw another line if we wish but we'll press the escape key and we finish that we find here we've got an extra line for some reason which does not seem to be mentioned in the help files bring them across <coughs> with real time dimensioning on we read while in the sketch mode activate the line tool circle tool or circular arc tool enter a value for the highlighted dimension press the tab on the keyboard to commit the entered value and proceed to the next entry box yes that's fine press enter key once you have set the values for all dimensions for the line tool you can enter values for the next segment press escape to stop creating line segments there's no mention of why that extra line is left behind this line here no mention of that anyway so we'll try another one circle click drag we've got a diameter we can change that to 20 enter yeah. good Ellipse, click, 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 ellipse, click, 
click drag wait a minute no real time values so we cannot enter real time values for an ellipse if we say made that the minor diameter we can click that and then we can put a major diameter in but still no real time values or angle or anything click we've got call out values presume we can change them later on but why should that be so why can we not enter real time values try another one rectangle and again we have no real time values click call out values regular polygon okay we'll change the number of sides we'll leave that at six we'll leave that selected for internal radius we'll click and drag and again no real time values for angle or diameter click apply and that's what we get so we've only got real time values so far on two of the sketch figures wait what did it say over here turn on off real time dimensioning click on the toggle real time dimensioning button in the sketch options group in the 2d sketch to turn on off real time dimensioning while in sketch mode activate the line tool circle tool or circular arc tool So according to that, there's three, only three of the primitives available for real-time dimensioning. Okay, circular arc tool, right, we'll try circular arc tool. Yeah, look. Let's say 30. Oh, what happened? 30. Well, we can real time dimension the diameter, but not the angle. We've now got to look at the bottom of the screen here, down here somewhere. Click on that. And we don't even have call out values for these angles. this uh, only seems to be half half designed not very comprehensive so what about elliptic lock no no real time dimensioning no And what are these spare dots doing? What else have we got? We've got splines of different kinds.
insert profile node other node nodes will only be accessible inside the current sketch to access node outside create a reference mm -hmm. round ship square ship look at those later text this is text oh that's good I like that right Well, there you go. After a log, log off, guys, there's my phone going. <laughs>